I wanted to talk for a moment about the branching pattern of trees. That can, understanding how that works and which types of trees branch in which way can be really helpful in um, narrowing down a tree that you are trying to identify that you don't know. Um, there's three main ways that uh, of branching patterns for trees. One is alternate. So this is a good example. The branch comes out one side, the next branch alternates sides. So one side, then the other. One side, then the other. This is a good example here. This happens to be uh, from a witch hazel. Many trees, most trees, most broadleaf deciduous trees branch alternately this way. Less common is this red maple as an example that branch opposite. And you can see that here. These two branches come out right opposite each other. And these little leaf buds also are coming out opposite each other of the branch rather than alternating. There's a third version, which is hard for me to show you um, where I am in the woods. There's another version called World. And that's when the branching pattern comes out many on the same um, area of the tree. So imagine that there's many branches leaving the trunk in a whirl around it. The trees that do that are um, tend to be needled trees. So pine trees, you may have noticed, there's like a layer and there's lots of branches in, in one little place that come out and then there'll be a big space in another area. That's world branching. That tends to be needled trees, pines, hemlocks, fir trees. Um, opposite branching, maples, ashes, viburnums, which is a group, a large group of like shrub sized uh, trees. Uh, horse chestnut, which is not a very common tree to find, and dogwoods. There might be another one that I'm forgetting, but I think those are all the opposite branching trees. So if you have an opposite branching tree, you can already narrow it down to maples, ashes, viburnums, horse chestnuts, dogwoods. And the world branching, you're already probably going to know. There's one deciduous needle tree, but it's going to have cones, and that is uh, tamarack. It also has another name, larch. Uh, that one sort of breaks some of the rules, but it is world, and you, uh, so that otherwise all the world trees are our that we have in our region are needle trees with one exception and that is a mystery tree that I'm not going to tell you about because I want you this one tends to whirl in threes one two three all leaving in the same height of the tree that's a mystery tree Andy can you explain what deciduous means yes so a deciduous tree is a tree that loses its leaves in the winter uh, and then an evergreen tree doesn't lose its leaves in the winter. Now, most evergreens are needled trees, but not all. So, um, a very common, you can see behind me, tree that keeps its leaves throughout the year is, it's a, I guess you would call it a shrub or a bush, is mountain laurel. It's an evergreen, but it's not a needled tree. So uh, the categories, there's different categories we could say, and I tend to talk about broadleaf trees versus needle leaf trees. So pine tree is a needle leaf tree, cedar tree is a needle leaf tree. Um, and then you could talk about deciduous versus evergreen, but that's a different category. And there are some that aren't related to each other at all that just happen to stay green all winter or lose their leaves, like a tamarack loses its needles in the winter, so it's deciduous, even though it has pine cones and needles. All right. Thank you. Thank you.